Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Elenio and in today's video or today's video tutorial lesson, we are going to be looking at the part two to the part one in my banking series where we're going to be looking at banking at the corner pocket from the side rail to that corner pocket or any of the corner pockets using a rolling cue ball of course in part one we had a lively discussion where we talked about the different variables that will affect you when it comes to banking such as the humidity of the environment the type of cloth the type of table type of rails whether it's highly reactive whether the cloth is a bit dirty or the cloth is a bit old or is it slick different tables will play differently and of course there is not a system out there to per se that if it is that you were to apply the system you're never going to miss a bank you're gonna have a system that works for you and get you close to precise banking but you're always under pressure in a match during a tournament having fun with friends you may come up a bit short on your bank shot sometimes or come up a bit long but with this numerical system here that i'm going to show you which is connected again with part one where we had made the adjustment on the short rail when it comes to banking with a rolling cue ball of course with that you're not going to use that adjustment here it's simply going to be the normal counting diamonds by 10. we're going to get on the practice today we're going to be looking at the different variances that you have to consider when it comes to banking from the side rail to the corner with a rolling cue ball specifically and of course, look out for more tutorial videos when it comes to banking with center ball, banking with spin, cross banking, cross side bank, and cross corner banks. All right. So without further ado, let's jump onto the table. But before we do so, if this is the first time here on the channel, consider smashing that subscribe button below, turning on the post notification bell to be notified whenever I post. And of course, do drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the content being created here. And do not forget to share this out to your pool communities. Without further ado, let's jump right onto the practice table and get to banking. All right, guys. So basically here, I've just set up just a couple of shots, like about eight shots or so, which we're going to be trying to bank with only a rolling cue ball. And I've mentioned in the previous video tutorial, we had looked at the fact that we are going to be banking at the diamonds now we have to be careful with banking at the diamonds because when you're banking dead straight like so and you're banking at an angle then the perspective may be a little bit different and just that little adjustment that you may make or you may bank the ball like a point one of a diamond difference could cause you to miss or to actually come sh to play long or to come short or even to make the shot so here we go we're just going to be just doing the basic banking here Remember that you also have to consider the fact that you're banking in between diamond increments and you also have to be aware of the type of team that you're playing on. All right, so when it comes to, for example, example number one here, just be aware of the distance of the object ball from the rail. When it's a bit close to the rail, you have to bank with a little extra speed, but when it's a little bit like about a diamond, diamond and a half or so, you have to bank with a medium speed based on my table here. All right, so here we go, guys. We are setting this up. We are on the 10 to 5 track line. Remember, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. All right, not sure if we might get down to the 80th diamond here, but let's see here. So if, I'm, if you're in a game and you happen to see this sort of bank, this 10, 5, 0 bank, then this is easy to bank just using a nice rolling cue ball here nicely done now what i like about banking with a rolling cue ball is the mere fact that i have a lot more control over the rock it's very important that even when you're banking sometimes you have to bank with a little hope but if you can bank with hope and a little precision then you're guaranteed more effective results so here we go now we are on the 10 we're on the 2010 track line again just be very aware if the object ball is a bit close to the rail or is it far from the rail if it's too far from the rail then you might have to bank with a little bit of speed 
if it's if it's very close to the rail, pardon me, you have to bank with the speed to escape the double kiss sometimes. And if it's too far from the rail, then you might have to bank again with some sort of medium speed or slow speed, depending on the slickness of the cloth. But here, my cloth is a bit worn out, as I've already told you guys. So, you know, it's a bit difficult sometimes to get precision here. But let's get it done here. 2010 track line. I'm aiming towards the diamond. A tip above center. And a nice medium stroke. Nicely done there. Again, nice control on the rock. Beautiful there. So let's move on again now to banking from the 30 to one, 30 to 15, or you can say 3 to 1.5 banking. And just be a little bit careful when it comes to banking in between diamond increments, because if you're banking from 13 and you perhaps say hit the, the object ball towards 14 or towards 16, that's just enough to have you miss the shot. All right, remember medium speed is good for this shot here. Okay, medium speed is pretty close to the rail. So here, I'm on the 30-15 track line. Rolling cue ball here. And that was nicely done there. That was about my fourth attempt at the shot. A couple of the attempts, as you can see here, they actually went close to the corner point here. But it happens in practice, of course. It's not all about perfection, as I mentioned to you before. You're going to find sometimes that even with a precise banking system, as what I'm, on, as what I'm showing you here, you're sometimes going to come up a little short. But that's a part of the process of learning this beautiful game. So here now we are again on the 40-20 track line or the 4-2 track line. Very familiar to most of you guys here. So here we are on the 40-20 track line here, rolling cue ball, nice and smooth with a medium stroke. And that's just enough there to make the shot. As you can see, I did actually, that was actually my second attempt. I did come a little bit low on the first attempt here. Now, we're heading below the side pocket now. And now we are going to have to add a little extra speed when it comes to this. Even with the rolling cue ball. Because now we're coming off at a bit more um, steeper angle. As we get lower and lower, we're getting steeper and steeper with the angle. And we have to compensate for throw. All right, so here we go. We are banking from the five to 2.5 track line, or we are banking from the 50 to 25 track line. So with a rolling cue ball here, banking from five to 20, from 50 to 25, just a medium speed here, and just allow the throw to take place and have that five go into the corner pocket. So as you can see here, banking with a rolling cue ball allows you a lot of control on the cue. When you bank with a bit of speed, sometimes you're not sure. If you bank with spin, it can be very inconsistent. So you have to try to ensure that at all times, you try to ensure that you're landing directly on the, uh, on the exact track line. Now in an actual game, you're not going to always fall on a dead track line or a rolling cue ball bank track line. So, of course, there's more videos coming out. We're going to be talking about cross side banks, cross corner banks, banking with spin and that kind of stuff there. OK, so let's proceed down to about the seven ball here. We are actually on 60 to 30 track line here. OK, we just have to just bank just maybe it's slightly overcut this a little bit just a little bit and that's nicely done there just a little bit of overcut just because sometimes at that angle the cue ball tends to come a little bit short when it comes to a rolling cue ball but actuality depending on the type of team that you have you might find that it actually is going to come into the pocket directly if you bank up diamond all right and here we go guys we are banking from 70 to 35 here so as i said for this kind of angle here we might have to overcut slightly and increase the speed a little bit more because the angle tends to go a little bit long just be careful of the scratch guys
And that's nice. That was my first attempt at that bank angle there. It's not going to always work out perfectly on your first attempt, but this works um, most of the time. All right. And for this one here, guys, naturally, you'd feel that you need to aim, say, exactly from 80 to 40 here. And definitely this shot with a rolling cue ball, as I said, most of the time it will come up a little bit short, give or take the slickness of your table, it may come a little bit long. But here we go, we're going to try it anyways. So banking exactly from 80 to 40. If you're playing this with speed, you cannot bank it exactly at 40, you'd have to overcut a bit. But with a rolling cue ball, hopefully we can catch it cleanly. We should be able to get this into the pocket here. That was perfect. That was actually my first attempt. All right. So that was a nice execution there of just learning the angles when it comes to a rolling cue ball and banking. You have a lot of control. If you notice that during the banking process, I never lost control of the white. And that's going to be very, very important. Now, there are many different types of banks which you're going to be examining during this banking series and this upload. So hopefully you Forget to subscribe and turn on your bell and i'll see you next time in another tutorial from the apex predator billiards club my name is apex elenio see you soon do not forget to keep practicing and of course keep the consistency control accuracy and precision peace follow me for more great content in pool instead a subtle smooth stroke coming three four maybe five rails position for the nine leaving yourself with a natural angle to come two rails and out, back out for the 10. On this shot here, top left spin, the smooth stroke, back out to the middle of the table or to the other side rail for a clean position on the 10. Subscribe, follow me for more pool advice and pool tips.